Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate descriptive statistics for interval or ratio data. Here's the sample data set that I just created. We have ID numbers of people in a program in column A, their birth year in column B, and I've done a rough estimate of their age by simply doing equals 2014 minus their birth year. Down at the bottom, I've got my go-to set of descriptive statistics that I calculate anytime I'm working with interval or ratio data. I've got some kind of essential data cleaning steps right here, calculating how many people are in the data set, how many people I'm missing data for, measures of central tendency like the mean, median, and mode, and measures of dispersion, variance, standard deviation, min and max, quartiles, and ranges. I'm not going to explain why I selected each of these formulas or what they mean. This video is simply about translating your pre-existing statistics knowledge into some simple Excel formulas. So let's get started. With the n, we want to know how many people are in the data set, so that's just equals count. And then you select all your variables here. Close your parentheses and press the enter key on your keyboard. To see how many people were missing data for, type in equals count blank, open your parentheses, select your entire data set here, close your parentheses, press enter. And I know this adds up to 100 people, but I like to double check just in case. Sometimes when you're dealing with more complex data sets, this is really crucial. The next step is looking at central tendency. So to calculate the mean, you don't type in equals mean, you actually do equals average. Median is equals median. And mode is equals mode. Okay, now measures of dispersion. Let's start with the variance. Equals VAR, var. Standard deviation is equals STDEV. The min is equals min. max is equals max quartiles you just type in equals quartile select the range which is also known as an array of your data here same thing we've been doing comma and then which quartile so quartile one we'll do that again for quartiles two three and four Then to calculate range, um, people use two different definitions when they talk about ranges. So one is just the maximum value minus the minimum value. So just do some simple math right here. Equals the max minus the min. And another definition of the range is the interquartile range, which is quartile three minus quartile one. So equals quartile three minus quartile one. So there we go. Um, we've got our entire set of descriptive statistics here. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to download this Excel file and try it yourself, you can go to ankemory.com and you can download the spreadsheet for free. Thank you.